What's going on, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video, man. We Hustle Daily. It's your boy, Big Play Rake. Coming to y'all with another auction video, man. We are at IAA. About to see if we can find some cards here, man. If you haven't already, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I upload every single day. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, first up, guys, we got this Honda Accord here. Oh, man, look at the wheel. The wheel is off the freaking uh, rim. Check it out. It's got a uh, 194 on it. Very, very dirty. Let's see what the inside looking like. Well, the inside looks good though, guys. The inside looks very good. Looks good. Hundred and ninety-four thousand miles. Oh, man, let's see what we got here. Dead, guys so let's go ahead and keep moving man looks all right though but let's keep moving all right guys next up we got another honda accord bumper and fender very very tore up here headlights looks good it's a little like wedged in there a little bit but another bumper another uh fender it's got what this one got on it 150 150,000 miles this one's dirty as well it's probably just being you know from it being here check it out let's see if we can crank up wow everything is dead here guys it's all right though got some little sanitizing wipes Looks all right though, guys. Honda Accord, you guys know I just sold one of these. My, my uh, personal one that I had for like a year. Man, I'm mad it won't crank up though. But it looks good though. What you guys think? 155,000 miles. And it's a, uh, what year I say? 2004. So, what you guys think about this one here? All right, guys, check it out. We got this Ford Taurus here with 70,000 miles, 97. Well, a lot of you guys probably won't like the uh, Ford Taurus because we got some water right here. I'm not going to go ahead and step in that. See if... Man, this Taurus is clean. Let's go ahead and see if it crank up. Oh, man, won't nothing crank up today, guys. 70,000 miles. Would have loved to hear this run here. Looks good though. Looks very good, guys. Back seat. Just a little dirty. Looks good though. 70,000. Check it out. 70,000 miles, man. Let's pop the hood. Man, I would have loved to crank this one here. Let's see what we got here. Got some spider webs. Look like they probably weren't even driving this guy. Um, yeah, but can't really do too much if we can't crank it. But let me know what you guys think about the Ford Taurus. All right, guys, next up, we got this uh, Malibu here, like the one I've been driving. Uh, this one is a uh, 06. Just like the one I've been driving, but a two, this one got 225. That is a lot of miles. And looks a little dirty in here, guys. Let's go ahead and look over here. Oh, it stinks in here, too. Do a full walk around of it. V6, Malibu. Okay, and we got different colored doors, guys. We got silver doors. So this one is door didn't even close all the way so it's kind of like it's not like it's not lined up all the way because the door don't shut but it looks good though it looks like they lined it up but man yeah 
I'm not gonna mess with this one, but especially not with the 225 on it though, but looks good guys. It's the V6 and it got the aluminum wheels. The one I'm driving doesn't. Just got the uh, steel wheels, but yep, that's it for the Malibu. All right guys, we got another Oldsmobile Cutlass here. If you guys haven't been watching my videos, man, you know my boy just got one of these from IAA, man. Make sure you check that video out. Matter of fact, this same exact location, guys. Now, this one has one, looks like 55 on it. It's a 91. Now, this one, well, okay, we got a little something right there. Can you guys see that? But this one look way, way cleaner than my buddies. But... I got, we got some cooling over there. Look like this on, on the floor. Something like, oh, like this. You know, my buddy only bought this car, guys, for like three, 369. So, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get inside, see what we got. Kind of loud. So, looks good though. But yeah guys we're not supposed to crank them here so that's why i cut it back off but i don't know how they expect you to look at a car if you can't crank them so but that one was kind of loud so you gotta cut that one back off but you guys let me know what you guys think about the uh 91 cutlass all right guys next up we got this mercury sable now you know we just missed out on the mercury sable we didn't get the one that we wanted to get um, but here's another one with 168 on it. Um, it's a 2003. Tire is kind of low. Man, every car I'm getting in, they got coolant, man. People are having coolant problems. But check it out. Uh, don't look too bad in here. They got some Listerine. They got a battery back there. You guys see that battery, that Duralast? Sable LS. See, they got the little trim going on here and over there. Let's see. Looks all right. They got the key. You're not supposed to crank them. Uh, they won't crank anyway. It's like everything is dead, man. It's like they leaving stuff dead on purpose, guys. But, guys, let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, Basically, it's like the same thing as the Ford Taurus. Like I told you guys, I'm looking for cheap cars, man. Like I spent 2,000 and no one, I spent 2,000 on the Acura, no one, I lost money. I spent 15, well almost 15, 14, 25 on a Maxima, lost money. So now I don't plan on buying anything over a grand. So, but let me know what you guys think about the Mercury. All right guys, next up we got this G37. Um, 98,000 miles. The bumper is kind of hanging off. They do have aftermarket wheels on it. Personally, don't like those wheels. Oh, man. Dang. The back. Oh, man. It's messed up. Messed up pretty bad, guys. Dang. I didn't even see that. Looks like the bumper and everything is in the back seat. The interior doesn't look that good either. Check it out. Yeah, it stinks in here, too. This one... Yeah, this one's rough. We got the license plate still on there. Came from Florida. But, yeah, man, this was nice to look at. I, I like the G35s and G37s. I think I like the G35 body style better. But you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right, next up, guys, we got this Hyundai Sonata. Let's go ahead and do a whole walk around. Now look, they got the new Hyundai wheels on there. You know, these come on a newer one, like the 14. So they put the new Hyundai wheels on it. Yeah, those definitely come off the uh, the other Sonata. What you guys think about the wheels on here? Thinks it looks all right on this one? This is a uh, 09 with 163. So not that bad, guys. Let's go ahead and check out the inside clean too nice and clean let's go in the back it's clean got leather have leather have cloth looks like let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here 
See if you got power. Nope, no power. Man, they're not joking around. They don't want you to crank up anything, guys. But let's keep it moving, guys. What you guys think about those wheels on the Hyundai? All right, guys, next up we got this Chevy uh, Venture minivan. Like, minivan should definitely go cheap, man. Let's check this out here. No body damage or anything, looks like. Let's go ahead and go on the inside. Oh, I thought that was a roach that fell. If you guys be in the auctions, man, and you open a car door and a roach fall out, has that ever happened to you guys? It's definitely happened to me before. It actually stinks in here, too. They ain't take care of the van at all, man. See the floor and everything. It doesn't look too bad. Of course, I've seen cars with worse, but... Yeah, I'm not even going to mess with this one, guys. But let me know what you guys think about the Chevy van, though. And then it looks like we got a, the uh, cover from the headlight is missing. So let's go ahead and keep it moving. All right, next up, we got this Ford Mustang with the wheels on it. Definitely look like 22s, guys. Definitely. This is a 2006. Um, and the miles say in up, so they don't know how many miles is on it. Check it out. Doesn't look like it's the GT or the V8 or anything. They got the door open, so you already know that this boy is probably most likely dead. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, it will crank, but let me not crank it before they say something. Let's see what we got under the hood, though. Man, these auctions, man, who can't let you crank the cars. It's, it's getting ridiculous, man. Like, all right. Like, you dealers, man, y'all are messing it up for everybody, man. Trying to sabotage cars, man. That, it messes up everything, man. I, I, I just, I don't get it. You know what I mean? They be trying to do stuff to cars and, you know, it just messes it up for everybody. Because, like, me personally, man... I really don't like buying stuff that I can't crank. I mean, I don't like, how am I supposed to check the car? I know you, they say you just, you know, supposed to see it run through, but honestly, that's not good enough for me. So, but let's keep it moving. All right, next up, we got a Nissan Altima. Let's check these out. Looks like already we got like another bumper. Most likely came from Certifit. Uh, 2003 with 160, but as you can see, we got some damage right here, man. So this is automatically a no-go. Let's see if the door is open. Yeah, the door still opens, guys. And it, you know, it was clean too. Before they got hit, it was pretty clean, man. They, they were driving. And these always mess up on these cars, man. These, uh, these handles, they always break in on these Nissan Altimus, man. But it looks good though. It just uh so it's probably most likely a salvage title, so let's keep it moving. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into a couple of new cars here. We got a Impala 2019. Looks like I think that says 35,000 miles. Now this side looks very good. But you already seen the other side looks horrible. Nice interior too. Glass look like is that glass? We got some water in there too. Oh yeah, that definitely is glass. Let's go ahead and check out the whole car, man. Let's see, I wonder what something like that'll cost to fix. It looks like they just, I don't know what that is. And so, it looks like the fender, the hood can probably be saved. The bumper probably can be saved. Headlight and another windshield let me know what you guys think about this one and it looks like we got some damage here too door still opens up good but let me know what you guys think about this one 2019 impala all right coming up on another camaro here uh 2019 17 000 miles like i said guys i kind of like the uh the new Camaro face, man. What you guys think about the new Camaro face? I like the face and the back, as a matter of fact, man. And this is a convertible. Last time I came here, I looked at the convertible. 
Like, I like the back and everything, man. Like, I do. Even though they, they, they haven't changed much on these, but I like it. Now, check it out. We got some uh, damage here on the quarter panel here. Very, very tore up there. Door still opens and everything. No leather, no leather. See, if I get one of these, man, I think I would want leather and everything. You know, I would want the full, you know what I'm saying, full package. But the convertible is definitely nice. I like the convertible. Um, let's see what we got. This is definitely not the V8, but we can pop the hood. I'll show y'all. Because I think it's like a 3.6, maybe 3.6. Let's see if what kind of motor is in here. All right. Definitely the six cylinder. Um, I don't see anything that says like which motor it is, but uh, wait a minute. Guys, is this a four cylinder? Let's see. Nah, it's a six, okay. Six cylinder guys. Um, at least that's what I think I see. I see uh, three, um, three um like coil pack wires so I believe it's the v6 but you guys correct me if i'm wrong the only thing that makes me believe is a four cylinder is this like one two three four but i don't know it might i think it's a v6 though but you guys let me know in the comments below all right guys and i just had to get this one on camera guys this bad boy motor and trainee has been fully removed uh this is a 19 ram 2500 um they completely removed everything out this bad boy man like they just took everything there's nothing in this bad boy you got the wire harnesses and stuff uh truck itself looks pretty good but you know, change, putting a motor in here, I wonder how much that'll cost. Look at the new Silverado, guys. We definitely want to check that out. Uh, bumper um, is missing. I wonder if this mug was in an accident or what, guys? What you guys think? Enterprise is selling it. So, what Enterprise say, hey, we want to take the motor out. And, but it looks good, though. 2,500. Let's see what we got. Diesel. Yeah. Nice and clean. Motor is gone. Everything's gone. But let's go ahead and check the Silverado out. New Silverado. Now, I definitely like the new faces on these Silverados, man. Definitely. Um, and I also like how the uh, how this is like circular. I don't know what you call this. Y'all probably gonna get on me. But you see how it's like, you know, it's a curve, like a like a little circular curve. But the other trucks is like square, like I don't I don't like that. Like the the previous ones, the previous uh. Silverados, like I don't like that at all. But this is a nice truck, man. LT. It's like a big truck too for some reason. It looks huge to me. Should be just a 1500 though, I think. But yeah, man, this is a nice truck. Let's check out the inside and what these boys look like. I haven't seen one of the insides. Uh, we got the cloth. Cloth is cool, man. But at first, I didn't use the want leather because you know it'd be hot and then it'd be cold. But man, this one looks good though. 10,000 miles on this guy, man. Got the screen there and everything. This mug is nice though. I'm pretty sure that this one is just a 1500. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pop the hood. See what we got. Man, it's so crazy that they won't let you crank the cars, man. Like, uh, I don't understand that. All right. And definitely V8 in this bad boy. Uh, I think they still use Vortec and everything. Here we go here. Um, does it say the motor? Yep, 5.3 there. So they still using the same motors in the Chevys, man. 5.3, you know. Don't fix what's not broken. The Vortec motor 5.3 has been running for a long time. So they sticking with it. But just like that, guys, it's going to be a wrap for today's video, man. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.